presenting the Giga Chat of birds. The Mega Chin of birds. But the birds don't have chins. Shut up. What you should be asking is, why does this bird have the avian equivalent of the world's biggest underbite? These are skimmers, a genus of three bird species from America, Asia, and Africa. They're in the same family as gulls and terns, and also rely on a mostly seafood diet, so are found near large water bodies like rivers and the ocean. However, their method of catching fish is very different and of course relates to their large lower mandible. To feed, skimmers fly along the water's surface, their elongated lower bowl being the perfect shape and size to dip along the water as they fly, skimming the water's surface. Once the skimmer's lower mandible hits a fish, the jaw snaps shut, securing its next meal. In case you are curious what the babies look like, they actually have normal looking beaks. The elongated lower beak only develops as they grow up and learn how to feed themselves. One isn't born a gigajet. One must grow into the gigajet. Other birds might dip or drag their bills in the water, but they're nowhere near as specialized as skimmers are. Paleontologists used to think that pterosaurs, those large flying reptiles, which aren't dinosaurs by the way and therefore not birds either, used to use skim feeding. But later studies found that the drag force from the water would have been too costly for larger pterosaurs to maintain, and smaller pterosaurs didn't have the adaptations needed for skim feeding, further showing just how unique and special skimmers are.